So what do you have to say about this part of the These people are living the life. Oh my god, the sunset in Alabama. Okay, this is a crazy. This is one of the most craziest videos I ever saw. I have I have to admit, my friends, I really have. This is amazing. What's up, my friend? Today I'll be reacting to Peter Santanello exploring healthy Alabama. This should be a fascinating one. But before I go into that, can I ask you for one thing? If you can leave a like, thank you so much, my friend. This is the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, well, in that case, forget about it. You make my day. Have that in consideration. Now, link for the original video in my description and, uh, well, let's play it. It's taken me until 46 years old to see the real deep south. Oh, it's so beautiful. Accent, they'd say, where are you from? I'd say Alabama. They just would go, oh, we've <laughs> heard about Alabama. I didn't think it'd be so beautiful, to be honest. Really? All of these homes are going to be two, three million to five million. The whole Oof, southern hospitality, lot. southern charm stuff still exists down here? 100%. <laughs> I love that. Slower pace, genteel lifestyle. Yeah. Dude, Alabama is beautiful. What? I mean, I knew it was beautiful, but did you guys saw that uh, that lake? I'm assuming it's a lake. I'm not even sure, but it all looks amazing. You gotta love that too. Just keep the truck running out front here. Oh, yeah. Let me know if somebody tries to jump in. <laughs> what a property. That's the deep south I'm looking for. Now, this place in the evening can get wild. When you travel and realize oh, that people wow. live differently than you were brought up, it makes you more tolerant oh, come on to it. all different kinds of life. Okay, my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends. This will be a great video. I, I can already tell you. Look, I don't even know. Um, no, I actually know that this type of feed is the long format. It does not even do that well on YouTube. And I'm aware of that, but I love to, to, to do them, to react to them. So the only thing I ask you, honestly, is leave me a comment or leave me a like. Actually, two things. Or both. Okay. <laughs> because really, it helps the channel tremendous. And this long format is, is so, so, so fascinating to, at least to me, the, because I love to learn about America. And I love the South. I love Alabama. Let's take a look at this one. By the way, long video, I will try to not pause too much. Good morning, guys. Alabama, okay. a state known for many things, but usually wealthy neighborhoods and beautiful beaches don't come to mind. So today, we're meeting up with a very colorful local who said, Peter, I can get you into an Alabama that virtually no outsiders know about. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. My first day in this state, I'm super excited. Let's do this. Well, let's go. <laughs> Damn it, that looks really nice. By the way, okay. So this is something I've been seeing in a, a couple of uh, videos about Louisiana, Alabama, places like that. Uh, um, basically, those trees... So t take a look at this. These trees, they look so beautiful because they fall... Oh, this is tremendous. I believe you guys call this Spanish tree or something. I'm not even sure, but it's beautiful. South Alabama, the panhandle of Alabama is totally different. We're way more laid back. It's like dog. Okay. Like, you know, it's the other LA, lower Alabama. We're Californian with a Southern accent, but conservative fiscally, you know, we don't go around wasting money, but socially, live and let live, I'd say. Morgan Freeman comes in town and he stays at this hotel right here, the Fair Hope. Wait, Morgan Freeman is from Alabama? Oh, that's amazing. Everybody I love him. Everybody kind of knows everybody or they know the person that knows that person. This guy's Master Joe, he's from China, him and his wife. He's a local celebrity. He's got this beautiful bed and breakfast. Okay. Left this country, left everything, ended up here, and has made a huge success of himself. Pretty, and loves it. Yeah. The guy would never leave this area. I mean, I see why. I mean, it's it's quite beautiful down yeah, here. Yeah, I love Joe's it. a good old boy now. There will be names on houses, and I know they're old mobile families, like old school. And you'll see a bunch of them, and I'll sit there and I'll see a name, I'll go, I know them, know them, Ma Steller. 
guy's a doctor. Everybody in his family, they okay, were doctors. Okay, so we're talking multi-generational. Oh, yeah. We're talking multi-generational. Families down here. So it's mostly old money. Yeah. Now, you've got, you know, the wealthy people that have discovered it from out of town. I mean, you're talking, that'll be five million plus, depending right. on how much he builds. Right. But in California, on the water like that, that's like 10, 15 oh, yeah. million. Like, for us now. It's crazy, people that have money to build something that is ten, even five million for me. I, I could not even imagine that. But uh, it's crazy the amount of money that there is in America in specific regions. And I know a lot of people also relate to, with this in the sense that yeah, that's also crazy money to to us. But uh, I don't know, it's crazy. Not here, it's a lot of money. But when you're coming here from a California, it's nothing. And you can drive golf carts around. Oh, yeah. Problem. Most people, yeah, they move here, they get a golf cart. You know, you have to get a no, license. Those trees are beautiful. It, golf cart's probably the best way to get around here. Fairhub's a bit funky, huh? Yeah. So John, he moved from Winter Park, Florida. Okay. And he's a, he's a mechanic. He moved here to Fairhub and works on cars. He got into the coffee business. That's cool. He kept the pumps. Yeah, man. When you're coming to Fairhope, and you want to know what's going on, if you're like a new guy, and you don't know what to do, come by here. So the, the whole Southern <laughs> hospitality, Southern charm stuff still exists down here? 100%. If you have a... Big, by the way, I love the, the way of dog talking. It's amazing. It's in personality. You can see the accents, right? Or in a friendly person. I don't care what country you come from. I don't care what city you come from. Yeah. You come to a town like Fairhope, start a conversation with one person, by the end of the day, you know most of the locals. Oh, that's amazing. Just gave away some bicycles today. Left the rest. Andre, you are doing a lot of pauses. I know, my friend, sorry. But uh, I have so many questions about this. Anyone watching me from Alabama or from the South, if so, leave me a comment. I would love, love that. Uh, basically, say, hey, hello, Andre. Watching from uh, Spain. No, you don't do that if you're at, No. But if you're watching from Alabama, hey, Andre, watching from Alabama, I would love that. All the literature that's on. If you are watching from Maine, don't be afraid. Also, leave a comment there. On the bar top I got from the house I, I purchased about seven and a half years ago, it was in the attic. Huh. Oh, that's awesome. My dad oh, that's cool. was born in 1939, and when he retired, he was looking in the Southern Living magazine because we get those in Florida. And he, he read that up. Airhip was one of the top 10 places to retire. He came up here and checked it out and loved it. And um, we ended up moving up here, moving them up here. And um, I got to looking around and um, this place was super rad. It was kind of like where I'm from, a lot of the water. And it was kind of like um, Winter Park was back in the 70s, mm -hmm. man. People were super cool, quaint. And I'll never forget, mm -hmm. man, I bought a bag of ice and they actually carried it out to my car. So I was just like, man, this is my place. There's a lot of the shop owners that came through here by mistake and fell in love and decided, I'll just open up a business here. This is a kind of popular little coffee shop, bookstore. They have a lot of, a lot of authors here. You know, Winston Groom that wrote Forrest Gump lived here. Lived and in Fairhope. Lived in Fairhope, yeah. Damn it, Forrest Gump is one of, it's crazy. Forrest Gump is one of my favorite movies. Oh man, I love Alabama. <laughs> he lived down in an area that, I, that we're gonna go through. They used to have a steamship that would come from Mobile across the bay and dock right here at this pier. Okay, you can see Mob yeah, Mobile way out yeah, there, the yeah, skyscrapers. That's, that's there. downtown Mobile. Okay. That's what Chuck Norris drove, yeah, wasn't it? I am Chuck <laughs> Norris. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. How's your Dodge received here in town? Man, when, people when's... love it. They I, love it? Every day I get stopped and somebody wants to buy it. And my response is, not for sale. You can't find these old trucks. It's a cool car. If it all goes down, I can get a lot of a lot of weaponry in this truck. And that I'm is not, true. And I'm not going to get stuck either. Take out that seat. Oh yeah, I could take out that seat and put a couple big recliners in there. You lived in California. You said Los Angeles, Santa right? Monica, yeah. Santa Monica. Okay. Yeah. They hear my accent and they say, "Where are you from?" I'd say Alabama, and they just would go, "Oh." Well, we've heard about Alabama. I'm like, what exactly have you heard? And it's like, well, you know, y'all kind of got a reputation of, you know, discriminating and all that stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, let me tell you something. We're kind of the original melting pot down in the South. And a lot of people from different places have lived 
around each other for a long time. And we've worked it all out. Okay, so you guys between states, there is a lot of stereotypes, right? Uh, seems like looking at this, you know, at this conversation that, for example, California may look down uh, on Alabama, which is them. Like, can we agree with that? I mean, the, there is amazing places in Alabama for sure, even if there is some problems there. But I guess you guys would say the same for California. California is also an amazing place, uh, but because of one bad area, you know what I mean? It's okay to be ignorant. But uh, this... Uh, I hope this is not a sensitive topic. Probably it is, but as long as we are respectful in the comments, that's fine. Maybe because of the civil war and stuff like that, there is still some uh, friction, you know, between uh, certain states. I don't know. Ignorant about something. If you've never been to a place and all you've heard is what somebody's maybe said about it, it's kind of the nature of what you do. You don't let anybody tell you about a place. You go find out about it. Yeah, you never it's know. True. And so Alabama, and this is my first day in the state ever in my life, it's many things. It's this. It's as far out in the sticks as you can get. It's Montgomery, which is a big city. It's Huntsville, which has a lot of tech and engineers. and yeah. Like, it's many. The thing we do as humans is we like to put a label on something because then it's easy to categorize in our brain, right? And like, exactly. I don't have to this think is about so is X or whatever it is. But the deeper, especially with this content, the more I get into these places, yeah. the more people I meet, it just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper. That was very well you said. You gotta love that too. Just keep the truck running out front here. Oh, yeah. Let me know if somebody tries to jump in. I'm faster than them. You, you do have the new Brooks. I, I, I warned people. I said, you're not going to catch me. So don't. Okay. You're in pretty good shape. I try, man. It's all this training in Venice Beach when I was living in California. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you doing, how you Santa? Doing? How are y'all doing? Doing well. I'm doing good. How are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm a mutt and I just... Sorry for laughing, but I, I love when, when people say, how are y'all doing? I love that. <laughs> License plate says mutt. I don't know why that. That is interesting. What does that mean? Is there a deeper know. meaning and all that? I don't know. Subliminal stuff going on. Okay, so you're you're from here, Fairhope. Not originally, but yeah, Where are you transplant from? like most people, San Diego. How have the locals? Oh, she's a beautiful place. Oh my huh? gosh, they're wonderful. But Fairhope's like the hippiest town in Alabama. It's so. hippie here. Oh hippie. yes. Well, there's there's all kinds, but it's just artistic. Okay. Healthy related, you know, it's just a different vibe than like what you think of Deep South. I didn't think it'd be so beautiful, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Like did you know? There. Did you know before you came? You know, it'd be like I, this? Um, I was living in North Carolina. Came for a conference at the Grand Hotel. Okay. And this is my first time in Alabama. I was like, oh my gosh, this is you know how people should live. This downtown area, walkable, gorgeous, water, affordable. You know, in my mindset, was very affordable to live here. Oh, this hey, looks like a tremendous you know, place. You know, it's, um, this movement called don't get me wrong my friends i know we are looking at probably the best region in, in alabama or one of the best but that's not matter it's still a beautiful place it's hopecommunity.org no hopecommunityal.org and we're working on a teaching farm teaching kitchen um we really want to kind of make this a blue zones area okay. where people live have longevity you know, not with a lot of illness because the community is walkable. You can grow your own food. There's a good sense of community and a good sense of faith. And that's okay, definitely blue, all the blue zone living over 100. Isn't that what that means? Yeah, living okay. up like in the 90s and 100s. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's Mediterranean diet. Mm, Costa Rica, um, Portugal, Sardinia, Sardinia, Portugal, Portugal. and Loma Linda in California, where the Seventh Day Adventists are. Right, because they're healthy. Mm -hmm. Okinawa, Japan. They eat well and they work out. They eat well, they work out, they have a sense of community. Okay. Um, yeah. Very good well, stuff. Doug, Doug might be on his Doug way. Doug's in his fifties. Oh, there. He's oh looking great. God. No, Doug is looking great. What's that? Go fifties. I'm in my fifties too. Doesn't he have a Southern California vibe? Fifty-four, little, little bit. I but feel like he was. Uh, I know we have friends of friends. I was like, yeah. he looks familiar. I'm Lori. I know. What kind of movies do you watch, young lady? What kind of movies do I mm -hmm. watch? Because when I lived in Dog is Dog is a real man. Did you guys saw the approach? I'm sorry, but this was <laughs> so played. <lady. laughs> How are you doing? Okay, so no, I'm not trying to imitate, but um, <laughs> I like Dog. California, you know. Yeah. You know, I did some questionable. <laughs> I 
place in the world. <laughs> oh, I you haven't seen those. you haven't seen him. I'm telling you, this is a fact. I was terrified to get on Facebook. Oh. Because I'm like, man. Do you do online dating? No. Oh, gosh, no. no it'd be all your neighbors no. here. I mean, as many people are. One hundred percent dog is on Tinder and is not admitting that. But okay, I mean, it is what it is, dog. We all have been there. Met when I was supermodeling <laughs> all throughout Europe, and supermodeling is not as easy as what people think. Uh, a, I mean, it's a lot but of work. occasional gasoline fight. Trying to burn that truck, yeah, they actually yeah. wanted to use that truck for the gasoline fight in Zoolander, but. I was That's like, nah, cool I don't want anything to happen with my truck. Isn't that a cool truck? Would, it is. would you be happy if you if someone pulled up for a first date in that truck? Absolutely. I'm a truck yeah. girl. Yeah. My dream is like an old Ford Bronco, like 71, three on the yeah. tree. Yeah. I had one before I moved here. I was redoing and had to sell it. Yeah. And I like kick myself every day. Well, let me tell every you, day. a Southern woman in an old truck. There, there's nothing sexier than that. Well, you missed mine. And I've got mine in the I, back. I bet she knows how to shoot a gun. Yes, I do. Yeah. But I'm not a southern woman. Okay, this is getting a bit weird. I have to be honest, my friends. But okay, I mean, okay. Okay, dog, let's go. I'm a southern California woman. Can you there you that? go. But Another, how cool is that? Yeah, but native, ca native Californian <laughs> is that. Like yeah. all the native Californians right. I've met, th it's that. Yeah, we're boy girls. A hundred percent. Boy girls. Yeah. That's how we grew up. We were playing in the canyons, making forts. We were out mm -hmm. until the street lights came on, people hollering. But, you know, the parents looked out for you, but there were no cell phones, no trackers, no cameras, no mm -hmm. doorbell, no, you know. And um, here you still kind of feel that way. They can leave their kids out playing. And I still get a little hesitant, though, when I see them walking by themselves. I'm like, oh, because <laughs> you're okay. used to it. Great people. Can we agree with that? One of my dad's clients had a boat identical to that one right there at Hatteras. Oh, that big one? He, he, just, he lived on it. He sold his house. Moved down here, lived at the Grand Hotel on his boat. Not a bad way to go out. At the end of the Civil War, they turned this into a hospital. Are you kidding me? This is an amazing place. Alabama is crazy beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is crazy. This building out here? Yeah, there were like 300 patients in this old building. And at the end of World War II, there were five... Oh, those apartments, they have a great view. Thousands soldiers here training for a secret mission, they say, and this was called the bootless camp because all the soldiers would take their boots off before they went inside because they didn't want to mess up the wooden floors. Now that's that's Southern. There's a guy, there's a statue. I'll, I'll show you the guy. His name was Buck, Bucky Miller, and he worked down here at this hotel for 60 years okay. as a bartender, and he was just famous. And their, their bar used to be called the Birdcage. They renamed it Bucky's. And there's a bronze statue of them. Bucky's? I know Bucky's. That's the gas station in Texas. He was the only thing left standing after Hurricane Katrina. Destroyed everything on the Bayside except his statue. They polished it off. He was good to go. Do they even the door is fancy? This is Holy! All this art. This My Alabama boys are doing he well. Was one of Salvador Dali's only understudies, and he's from Troy, Alabama. The guy that's yeah. this artist. Yeah. Okay. Him and the King of Monaco are like super tight. Like he's some of his artworks in Monaco, and people take pictures of it when they go to Monaco. And the guys live. That's here. really cool, actually. He said, "I'm not sure if I'm a French Riviera brat or redneck Riviera." But he lives here. That's what this is called, the Redneck Riviera? Yeah. That's Bucky. Yeah, he made a strawberry mojito that was supposedly, pro it probably ended a lot of marriages, if truth be told. Yeah. 60 years, bartending. 61 years. 61. Yeah. 61 years. Now, this okay. place, in the evening, can get wild. A lot of the locals come here, sit around. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, but this is a bit wild. Are, am, I, am I crazy? Am I crazy, really? Probably, but this is 
damn it, this is such an amazing, amazing place. Uh, Holty Alabama, I like it. Alabama in general, still like it, but uh, this probably the best of the best. <laughs> I walked in here one night, John Elway was sitting in here with a bunch of NFL guys. I mean, and it's just, the drinks are out of sight. This is Bucky's Bar. Yeah, this is Bucky's Bar. Wow, I mean, 61 years. School. This yeah. is old. I love the old school feel around here. I love it. Ooh, I love yeah, it also. All, kind of all the architecture is, is solid. Yeah. It's yeah. it's real. It's got It's amazing. Kind of like something That's you the see word. in New Orleans, you know. Just an old bar. You know, they they've tried to keep as much original here as possible. And they've obviously modernized the hotel some, but people loved it so much that they're just like, don't that when they because they had to redo a bunch of it after Katrina, and everybody was freaking out about, we don't change it too much. You know somebody really has the bling around here when their pier has been rebuilt because tropical storms and hurricanes come in here and about every four or five years they wreck everybody's pier. These things are expensive okay. and they're not insured. Oh, I was gonna say, is you there can't a, insure them. there's no pier insurance? No. So, oh yeah, because insurance would do like, yeah, every five years, no chance is what insurance tells you. Yeah, with my voice, you go like, oh, I would love to, ins no chance, get out of my store. Yeah. Oh, only the big boys rebuild their pier. Or like these structures out on the water, like that. What is that, a yeah. boathouse oh, or something? Yeah, boathouses. There's one house down here, like an 800 square foot house. Dude, this this is tremendous, on. it's crazy clean. I think you guys will get disappointed if you come to Portugal, actually, comparing with this. On house house. Beautiful country, don't get me wrong, but this is looking really, really top-notch quality. I mean, you got people that got, you know, half a million dollar dock. Oh, uh, look at that, this store that, here. That's Charlie. Seriously, it has a name. Yeah, Charlie. Is it Charlie? Charlie? Can you get to these? Oh, that close. Oh, that that's, close. oh, Charlie, okay. I think you set a record. <laughs> My Charlie. If you had some food? You can get closer. Yeah, first impressions, I got to say, there's a real calming feel. It's easy going. It's easy going, yeah. People don't get caught up in the rat race. Well, you have to. Dude, this may be the best place in the world to live. Am I crazy again? I have the money to pull it off, yeah, obviously. You do. And there's, there's like a little, maybe a little fight because people don't want to, but some people, like, some people just have the money and they don't, they don't have to be part of the rat race because they already got the money. Yeah. Younger mm. folks like us, you know, you still got to figure it out or be a gypsy like myself. You're doing real estate, though. Yeah, I do real estate, but I've got, I've got low overhead, you know. I don't have a bunch of outgoing. How many kids? Zero. How many wives? Ten. X? Okay, <laughs> that was it again. <laughs> no. One of them will get their hooks in me one day, though. <laughs> All of these homes are going to be anywhere from two, three million to five million. These trees didn't get taken out. Yeah. Deep roots. Is there a meta? It's beautiful. Really, this, this is something that, oh my God. Oh, I, I love that they, they look really old. Oh, this, I, I'm all about nature. I'm all about Alabama and I'm all about those trees. I'm all about, no, sorry. Four for life yeah, there? Yeah, metaphor for the South. Deep roots. And you don't get taken out. Strong, cheap, you don't get taken out. No okay. matter where you go. Yeah. I got more trouble in that house. What happened? A friend of mine's uh, grandmother, that was her bay house. And I mean, we would come down here in the summertime and raise, holy hell. We'd run down to the Grand Hotel and you had all these families coming in and all their good looking daughters. And You're just we were going in high school. right, oh, right yeah. down the sidewalk oh, yeah. there. We used to grab their, their uh, nice outdoor chairs and they had these old sleeping porches because it gets hot in the summertime. So a lot of the original bay houses had these screened in sleeping porches and there would literally be 10 beds on the porch okay. and people would sleep before ac yeah and people slept out on the porch to catch the breeze okay and, and this then, is you can see that that long screened in porch right that's very hot in the south right porches so that 
is one of the original houses down here. Do people still do that, sleep out on the porch? Uh, when they build, oh yeah, I'm sure they do. We talk about wine, like somebody will go, oh, is that wine any good? And they'll say, oh, it's a good porch wine for sitting out on the porch and drinking, you know, it's, it's good enough to have to be a porch wine. No, I was not aware of this, uh, but it, it's okay, but uh, it's good. Okay, I like it. This is old school yeah, south right here, this right? this is old school, man. You're talking about a house that's been in a family for a long time. Damn it, that so way, I love it. So in this it. part of the country, in the state, these are a lot of second homes. Where are they living? Are they, is it like mobile people coming yeah, over? I'd say mostly? there's, a, well, on this side of the bay, they used to not really have grocery stores and a lot of stuff you need. It was more of a bedroom community. Some people would work in Mobile and they'd just come over here. Okay. But then they started getting gas stations, okay. grocery stores. Sure. So once they had that infrastructure, people started moving over here, moving everything, okay. moving their business, moving Don't everything. Don't go in full time. I mean, my dad had a law firm in Mobile for years. He moved over here. He would commute to his office and then he got to where I'm not leaving my house. And a lot of people are doing that because the growth in population now, you can actually open a business and you've got a, a customer base here because everybody's moving here. I mean, here. Crazy, honestly, my friends. Sorry for pausing too much, but you old man. It's I knew so Alabama popular. was beautiful. Panhandle of Florida. Alabama's getting discovered. The next play is going to be coastal Mississippi. And you know, they oh, that's the play. Casinos in Mississippi, like Las Vegas style casinos that's, that are fantastic. Oh, so the guy is saying that this one is maybe a bit too explored. We have to invest in Mississippi because that's the next uh, place. Should I, should I put all my money on Mississippi? No. A lot of people that live here. Real estate in Mississippi. Here, go over there for the weekend. Yeah, but if you want this Pleasantville stuff, you don't want casinos near your house, right? Yeah, that, that that's... No, I don't even like casinos and stuff like that. That's bad. No. But you they, do. they never would be. They would certainly horseshoe those uh, casinos somewhere where, you know, they weren't going to disturb the peace. But you're talking about, hey, it's kind of quiet around here. You know, don't you want a little action? New Orleans is two hours to the, to the west. You want action? You go to New Orleans for the weekend. Get it out of your system. Come back here and lick your wounds. <laughs> you still doing that? You still got it in you, Doug? A hundred percent. No. But I don't, I mean, I... <laughs> I was so wild. I kind of really, I, I, I'm a teetotaler. I, I don't really drink much anymore. Yeah. And once you don't, you just kind of get used to not. I mean, I haven't had a hangover in over four years. Yeah, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't know how to deal with it. I couldn't it. imagine anything worse than a hangover at this point in life. No, I just, I enjoy, I get up early, like 3.30, Whoa. 4 in the morning, like Holy. every day. It's just my body clock. Ever since I got back from Australia in particular, it's just, it's just how it is. But I love it. I love getting up that early. The dog is the type of guy that you want to have in a barbecue, you know? I love feeling good, working out every day. I mean, I got, I've got, I eat super clean, I always have, but I just, I'm addicted to the, I'm a creature of habit. When I was having that martini every, every sunset, hey Paige, this is Peter. How you ladies That's doing? Harper. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Hey, good to see you. We're making a video today. Doug, all right. Harper. Nice to meet you. Harper's living in London now. Oh, cool. Is Doug a local legend? Local legend. Yeah. Fair to say. I can tell you. Doug, um, he has many characters he can be. Okay. Very, a full great of, impersonator. Full of jokes. Yeah. Full of jokes. Always good for a laugh. So you're a living in legend. London now. Yes. How does it feel to come back? Great. I love home. Do you have to explain Alabama when you go to London? Do um, they get it? I don't really say I'm from Alabama. No. Really? Yeah. Why not? It gets a bad rap. They don't understand but how good Fairhope is, so it's not worth saying. I say I'm from Florida. What? Why? Alabama is great. If I, if I was from Alabama, I would be telling everyone. Yeah, I'm from Alabama. That's the closest. Okay, yeah. 
love Florida because that's basically Florida. Florida is Florida 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 great, but uh, if you say Alabama, you have to explain it. You have to explain it. Uh, do you have, like, a grocery store? I feel like this is where I don't get a lot of stuff, my friends, because people, oh, they're Alabama. Mm. I, find, I love Alabama. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, so, it's easier to say Florida. It's interesting because, you know, she's the younger generation. I would say mine. Like me, I'm going to say where I'm from, you know. And then so one generation under me, they're not so co so comfortable just to come out and say I'm from Alabama. Right, they don't want to deal with the stereotypes. And yeah, the so so there's a, a generational difference that I just found out. Okay, I mean, yeah, I don't get it that well, but okay. What do you got, what do you got? Little wheelie? It's good to see on BMX bikes. I grew up on a BMX bike. Peter Centennial, I feel like they are they don't want to talk with you. Nice guys. Just stopped at this place for lunch. Beautiful setting, right on the water. Also want to mention to you guys, I have a platform outside of YouTube. Would love you to be part of it. Okay. There there are all sorts of different videos behind the scenes, deeper dives into these topics, into these places, into the people I meet up with, question and answer stuff. There's all sorts of content. Patreon. Link down below. Hope to see you there. Let's go. I have something. a Patreon also. Thank you. Yeah, a friend of mine from Sydney who's in the fashion business. And uh, so we're like, hey, why don't you come over? So he came over. He was going to New York to open up a business. And we, we brought him here for brunch. And he's just sitting out here and he's like, Mike, man, this reminds me so much of my home. He said, but everybody looks at you, Mike. They look at you in the eyes. Right. Because they, bloody Sydney, they won't look at you. You're used to it, but he, for, to him, it was a huge deal. Okay. Let's make it clear. Oh, that looks that good. That was my recommendation. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. Now, you know, I mean, Peter, if looks you want really to good. absolutely destroy his body, what the hell? Y'all enjoy, guys. Thank you. The guy doesn't want to have a six pack. This personally, it's his business. <laughs> but I want to walk around in a six pack and all these things. Then I got to make the sacrifices. But this will be my once a year. Are you serious? Fried food. You don't eat. Fr you're a southern boy, not eating fried food. No, never, never. Yeah, okay, he's missing. Yeah, right. You haven't been deported from Alabama. No, not yet. We know how to fry stuff. We can. Tell I'm sorry. One of the things I find the weird the most on this, you may not believe it, but is actually the amount of the ice that I'm seeing there. What the hell is going on? Why ice? I don't. This is talk about the culture shocks. We never put ice on on, uh, on water. It's, I mean, it's very rare. You can ask it, but no one does it. But I guess here everyone does. It's crazy. <laughs> Take the most healthy food in the South and make it bad for you. We can do things to a, to a vegetable that I mean that would give you a heart attack just after one bite. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna wrap we're it up. in the South, but it's not deep fried as you can see. No deep fry. No one was hit in the making of this the seafood wrap. There we, we, have, oh. we have a lettuce blow out. Lettuce Disaster. blow out. Let's he's go going, in for a little more clearly reinforcement. Clearly he's never done this before, Mike. Reinforcement, bro. Reinforcement. Round two. He's still mumbling Let's get around. a knife in here for support. It's not looking good, Mike. Yeah, it, yeah this is looking bad, it's Peter. Looking good. No, go. mate. No, no. Look at that. He's got a healthy bite. Oh, good. He's victorious, mate. You should be proud of yourself. Tell us. Yeah, man. Peter Sandel yeah, is angry. Non-fried Alabama seafood. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Let's do a little of this. Crab meatball. Meatball? Get this guy over here. Can we get up close here, cameraman? Here we go. That's the deep south I'm looking for. Mm, me too. Deep south on a plate. Oh yeah, I did oh, yeah. raccoon up in Mississippi, but I'll, I prefer this to be honest. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. One Fox. for the home team. <laughs> There's a huge aluminum manufacturing plant. They're building it in a little town called Bayonet, maybe 30 miles from here. Okay. The lay down yard just for the construction, meaning where they just sit the equipment. Yeah. Is 40 acres. It's a massive operation, and it's going to employ. 
probably a couple thousand people just there, and it'll probably require another 3,000 people just to support the business. The area is doing well, this immediate area. Yeah. Because in other parts of the United States, or I was just in Mississippi in the Delta, yeah. businesses have pulled out over the years. You see some of these towns, yeah. total decay, like no jobs. They're, and they're but that's here. good to hear like they're coming, you know, there are yeah. pockets where things are really building right yeah. now. That's they're coming cool. here. Yeah. It's well they've made it really easy to operate. Less regulations. You know, talking about the South as opposed to other parts of, you know, say California, for example. They're over regulated. So people, you know, when you operate a business, every penny counts. The only thing with regulation, you need a lot of it. Like you don't want battery acid oh, going into water. You know what I mean? hundred percent agree. But then there is overdoing it. Yeah. And that's current California, obviously. Yeah. Like you can't build any, it's so hard to build. That's why they're so- Is California really that bad? Not the first time I see people complaining about this, but uh, I don't know. So short on housing, yeah. it's so difficult to build. Well, as you can imagine, you know, down here with our Delta yeah. and the bays, they are extremely protective of the waterways okay. here. Because that's a huge source of income for a lot. We have a huge shrimping community, yeah. oyster, I mean, it's recreation. I mean, having the water's pristine is a source of money for tourism. I mean, so they... The one thing that they do protect down here is the environment. I like that. This is the bluff. So look, they're obviously having a party or something where they're setting up candles. Oh, cool. And, and how cool is that? I'm not sure Dude, what they're doing. I'm so not sure cool. if it's a party or, a, or what. Or a ritual. Oh boy. This is where all the people with money send their kids. It's a private high school. It's about $20,000 a year. Dude, yes. The public schools, I can imagine, being pretty they're, good they're, here, right? They're great. They're fantastic Turn public right schools. But it's right on the bay. They got their own pier. The high school has its own pier. Yeah. Dude, can you imagine? Oh, my God. I So, you guys, well, I know I talk about this all the time, but I'm a new dad. Can you imagine growing your kids yeah, or kids here? I mean, come on. People that say that money don't, don't fix us problems, they are crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they are crazy. Money, or not fix this problem, but by app, you can, you, money does not equal you, okay, that's true, but, oh, never mind, I'm, I'm all over the place, but basically, if you have money, you can make a lot of your dreams reality, and look, I, come on, this is so nice. So when the kids are in school, there are more expensive cars in this parking lot. What if I have someone watching actually from this town, my channel? Oh man, that will be crazy, but probably not, right? I've ever owned. So this is your friend? Yeah. Michelle and her husband, Bruce. They're awesome. But she is southern. What a problem. What that means. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. So the sunset's going to be. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, What's up, so, Bruce? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, We've been my covering some ground. God, they even it. Oh, kids. Oh, that's crazy. That's awesome. Oh, That's Peter. Job. How you doing? Michelle. I'm Michelle. Nice Bruce. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bruce. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank Thanks for having us over. Sure thing. Oh, I thought that... Oh, my God. Now I feel embarrassed. I thought it was... Uh, damn it. Sorry. Mm. I thought it was dog. Okay. It's not dog. Okay. Looks like him, but okay. We've been covering some ground. That's awesome. At first glance, I thought it was Donald Trump, actually. But okay. Oh, That's Peter. Job. How you doing? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Nice Bruce. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bruce. Bruce, nice to meet you. Bruce. Bruce, nice to meet you. Nice Thanks for having us over. Sure thing. Have you been here before? No, first time in Alabama. First day. Won't be your last. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh, what a place. Oh, come okay. on. Incredible sunsets here. Are you kidding me? You'll be able to see one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what my. What? The leaves in the pool obviously came over from that mobile. Also, oh, the paradise is in Alabama. Thanks. Noted. Oh, this is look. This looks insane. I love Alabama already. Now, uh, even more. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's such a bird. Ball and <laughs> leaves got more courtesy than getting your swimming pool. Now, how in the world did you hook up with Doug? No, oh, did you guys saw that? I'm sorry. Am I? Gr oh, come on. Can you imagine waking and seeing that all? Damn it. 
Man, I'm so bored. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I know you guys are also thinking, yeah, me too, Andre. <laughs> hey, we are all on this together, my friends. But uh, come on, are you kidding Obviously me? I came over from that mobile. Yeah, it's such a bird. Baldwin County leaves got more courtesy than to get in your swimming pool. Now how in the world did you hook up with Doug? Doug found me, <laughs> which... Legend. Maybe that says something about me. <laughs> oh, man. This is my our little guy's pirate ship. Place that's there. your son's pirate ship. Yeah, place, that's the son is a pirate, and they have a pirate ship. Oh, that's even better. Okay, Pleasantville. It is fully Pleasantville here. It feels a bit like Truman Show, but with nice architecture and beautiful landscapes. Now okay, stupid question, but they own part of the ocean. Is that possible? Now those ducks are a prop. Michelle yeah. paid for those because we knew you were coming. And I, I have That's the, probably really them. No chance, right? Special whistle to make them come away. I gotta check this out. Game. Look at this. Wait, you can buy land, you cannot buy water. Unless you. Oh, sorry, uh, I have no idea. Pirate ship playground. You know, I thought I had a. Oh, playground. I thought it was. Okay. Good childhood. And I didn't have the pirates yet. <laughs> well, well I, had to, I drew that on a cocktail nap. Yeah, My therapist is going to love that. <laughs> so what do you have to say about this part of the These state? people are living the life. Oh my god, the sunset in Alabama. Okay, this is a crazy. This is one of the most craziest videos I ever saw. I have, I have to admit, my friends, I really have. This is amazing. Uh, okay. Sorry for asking this again, but um, I love to react to long format content. Sometimes does not do that well on YouTube, like I said at the beginning. But tell me that right now I'm not alone watching this in Portugal and you guys are with me watching this video. Put the number 31, basically the, the number that we are seeing on the screen, on, on the original video. Leave me the number 31 if you are enjoying this. And uh, yeah, I would feel like I'm not alone. And come on, that's... Oh my God. I don't understand. Let's well, go Well, we're the friendliest group of people you'll ever meet. It's a very safe place, wonderful place to raise a family. We do a lot of things outdoors. We go to the beach. Okay. Uh, we fish. We... Uh, spend a lot of family time together, and I think that's a lost thing in today's world. I mean, people aren't spending ha sitting down to dinner every night together as a family. Okay. And hey, to be honest, if I had that, I was I would also spend more time. Uh, okay, sorry, I know I'm being rude. Sorry. <laughs> and, um, I just think sometimes rich people forget the reality of others, but uh, I I agree with that actually. We that takes we some that. skills. That's, you're doing you're yeah. doing amazing work there. <laughs> Okay, so Actually, that, that family sounds difficult. is a huge thing here. Yes. And that's just, that's you guys, or that's just the cultural current? I think it's the culture here. I mean, uh, people move to Fairhope because they want a different kind of family dynamic. They want to get back to basics, you know. Um, it's a true utopia of an area, you know. It's, it's How do you protect it? Or it protects itself because people come here wanting that lifestyle i think that and i think that the people here are selective about um what they allow and what they disallow in the downtown area to okay. protect the that the integrity of it sure and um i think that when people when they come here they expect they're expecting sort of this backwards Whoa. mentality and that's not what they get they're getting more of a family back to basics kind of life and okay. um, it's valued in the last few years since covid um, our secret has gotten out but we are always ranked like top places to retire and and that's why because it's just a slower pace but she she's retired what she, I mean, I wonder what was her profession, you know. Did she sold Microsoft to Bill Gates or something? Because she's living the life. A more genteel lifestyle. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said your son and his boyfriend. Uh -huh. And I think most people from the outside would say, hey, that would be super frowned upon down here. What's your, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I, no, I'm happy that you asked that because I'd like the opportunity to, to address that. I think that when my son was younger, he didn't come out as gay until he was older. But I mean, I always sort of suspected. Um, but he's 
I always wanted him to be true and authentic to himself. Okay. And so many times people that are homosexual or, you know, they live in a community like this, they wait until their mother's dead, especially gay guys tell me this all the time, that they couldn't come out um, because they didn't want to disappoint their mother. Okay. It's kind of um, crazy. I, I actually had a friend that uh, just uh, basically said uh, it, it was a guy after his, his dad uh, passed away. So this is kind of true, actually. It's crazy. Born on my birthday, so we're the same zodiac sign and everything. So I think we're very similar personality-wise. So I would always say, you know, I will love you no matter what. I would tell the kids, I don't, and they would say, like, what, mom? Why? What, what, how would you? Well, what if we did this? Would you love us? You know, if we right, did this. Right. And, I, and I was doing that for his benefit. And he he laughs now and tells me, I knew what you were doing. But I think it was harder when he was younger here. But uh, I'm very proud of the area that they have. Uh, a much larger support group for homosexuals now and uh, the gay community, and that's great. Uh, much more accepting of that lifestyle and people being authentic. I never heard about that. Support groups for homose homosexuals? Huh? Okay, that sounds wrong with all the respect, but uh, they are normal people. Authentic to who they are. and. Um, Daniel felt, I think he felt like he had to move to New York um, to be accepted. And now when he comes home, and he couldn't wait to leave here, but now when he comes home, um, he loves it and he realizes what he had here. And um, I think he's much more comfortable here, but I think the whole community in general has changed a lot over the last 10 years, certainly over the last 20 years. Okay. I think that the South in general, not just Alabama, but the South in general, is portrayed a certain way in movies and whatnot of a closed-minded uh, communities and very judgmental and racist and, you know, um, in a negative connotation. And I don't believe that to be true. Me I, neither. I think that it works for Hollywood. It doesn't matter who you are or what you believe. And, you know, I prefer not to talk about politics sure at family functions ever because yeah. we are you know there are both sides at the, at the dinner table and usually causes a problem when we bring it up so i just well everything's divided these mm -hmm. days i think that the media has created a further divide um, between people because i don't think that really exists i mean i think maybe small pockets of it but sure. in general but i think the media feeds that oh 100 percent because the reality on the ground I'm all over the country, mm -hmm. all different cultures, urban, rural. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing the friction at all, mm -hmm. okay? But then if you get online or watch TV, you're right. like, oh, wow, we're all at each other. It's not like that. This is and true. It's unfortunate when people don't have the opportunity to travel, they can't see it for themselves. Even myself, I sometimes, I also follow politics in my country and stuff like that. Uh, uh, American politics, not that much for logic reasons. I know who Trump is uh, and uh, uh, Biden, uh, of course, Obama in the past, George Bush. But uh, I never followed that close. Uh, um, but here I followed for because, I mean, it, it impacts my life. And online is so toxic. It's crazy, guys. It's actually crazy. But I believe I'm saying this and, and America is probably 10 times worse from what I know. Oh, so they're Absolutely. believing that's the reality. Well, right. I believe that to be true. I think that traveling is the, the internet best makes that happen to to create more togetherness and yeah. uh, 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 you know embracing each other as human beings and none of the other stuff that really matters. But when you travel and realize that people live differently than you were brought up in the area that you live, certainly the area that I grew up in, um, I mean, travel opens your eyes to to everything and it makes you more tolerant to to all different kinds of life and all different kinds of people 100 percent and sure. doug did you plan the canoe to come in through at this exact time i was just, time? I was just thinking it? for bruce the <laughs> <laughs> dog is the man <laughs> there we go <laughs> Oh, come on, are you so this is Bayside me? Academy. It's a private school here in our area, and uh, it's right here on the bay. Not many people can say that um, they they go to school on Mobile Bay. Some children uh, arrive to school in their boats, their parents' boats. They drop them off at the pier, and they have class out on the pier, okay. and then they'll come no. out with a sane net. No, this is this is going to fly. Take it to the science department. And yeah, no, no. And stuff no, and the that no, okay, no, we, we have to tax these people. 
I'm joking, my friends, but it's crazy. Out the back. Wow, what an education. And you know, I don't know if Doug told you about this, but we have Jubilees, which is when the uh, water, there's a lack of oxygen in the water and the, the shrimp and crab mm -hmm. and everything to, come to the surface. Okay. And that happens like when the moon is just right and the tides are just right. We're only a, one of two places in the whole world that ha that, that happens. It's okay. a, a natural phenomenon. And um, Science. They will, there's a bell in our courtyard where they would ring the bell years ago to alert all the neighbors that there was a jubilee happening and everyone would come out with their ice chests and whatever and just gather it up because you could stand at the shore and just take nets and fill your cooler up with shrimp and crab and oh that's great well guys thank you it's thank crazy you for bringing us in you're welcome yeah you're appreciate welcome. it Thanks for coming. For dropping in. yeah I hope we you got our good our reason to come back we've got the whole beach that's a whole different area yeah we didn't go to that it's 30, 30 miles away april mullet toss florabama it's Mardi Gras on the beach. Okay. <laughs> and if someone's coming here, they need to speak with you. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, we, have, we, have, yeah. we have two realtors 100%. in the house. Yeah. Two realtors Doug Kilborn and Michelle Bigler. Okay. We're both with the same company, Wise Living in Fairhope. Those links are down below. Oh, they are the... Okay, never mind. I did not got that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you so it's much. It was a pleasure. Thanks for bringing us in. It brings understanding and gives us a visual of what things are like because it's hard to imagine without that. And one more thing. Yeah. Roll Tide. Huh? Roll <laughs> Tide. What's Roll Tide? Alabama University Crimson of Alabama Tide. Crimson Tide. Best football team in the country. <laughs> okay. College football. College That's big here. That's Huge. big here. It's a it's a big, it is a, it's a it lifestyle. Is, it is. I think Mississippi is going to get you this year. Mississippi's not even in the picture. That's how much I know about football. So, yeah. <laughs> thanks, you guys. Thanks, Appreciate it. Until the next one. Okay, this was amazing. Oh, oh, actually, this video um, inside Kajun Kaj country is one of the videos I also want to react. This one already reacted, by the way, Deep South First Impressions. Uh, if by any chance you are watching until the end, uh, if you can leave me a comment, do you guys think this, this could be a good video, the Ka Kajun country, inside Kajun country, because I, I want to react to, to that. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, my friend. This was fun. I've been missing this long format type of content uh, and um, yeah, see you guys next time.